Today, you're going to see a ranking of the top 10 most underrated NBA players entering 2021. Even though their talents are extremely valuable, these players have received a complete lack of recognition from the NBA universe. This video shows you how they've been so overlooked and gives them their due respect. Stick around for number one because you'll find out who's the most underrated talent in basketball. If this is your first time here though, I'm Adam, this is DFlow Hoops. If you're a basketball fan looking for rankings, stories, and predictions about the NBA, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. 10. Nikola Vucevic He's the only player in the league with an active streak of 25 plus double doubles in 8 consecutive seasons, but Nikola's name is never brought up in a conversation about the top centers in the NBA. He doesn't have a single all-star caliber teammate, except for maybe Aaron Gordon, yet has led the Magic to back-to-back -back playoff appearances. If Orlando had more talent at their guard spots, then Vooch would have a lot more clout, but for the time being, the 30-year-old stretch big isn't getting the respect he deserves from the fans or media. He made the All-Star team in 2019, but was somehow snubbed in 2020 despite spectacular season averages. 9. Brandon Clark Memphis hasn't gotten a ton of respect overall for shocking the world in 2019-20 by getting into the play-in tournament when they were projected to be a 15-win team before the season. Brandon Clark was specifically overlooked, though. His rookie teammate, John Morant, and the progression of his sophomore teammate, Jaron Jackson Jr., got all the credit. Because of that, you probably weren't aware that Clark was in the 94th percentile for mid-range makes. The Grizzlies' rookie combines both his vertical leaping ability and floater-slash-push-shot mechanics to excel from that area. Brandon's also an extremely efficient three-point shooter, making 44% of his 52 attempts last year. Plus, he's a versatile defender on the other end, so Clark and Jaron Jackson Jr. could develop into one of the better front courts in the NBA. 8. Christian Wood The Detroit Pistons acquired the fourth-year big man off waivers last summer. And when you look at some of the highlights before his time in Detroit, there was definitely potential and explosiveness right away when watching Christian, but he never really got the shot to prove he belongs. Christian had a nice stretch of games with New Orleans at the end of last year, but he only played eight games in total on the year, spending most of his time playing his fourth G League season, where he averaged 29 and 14 for the Wisconsin Herd. But the stats in his first year with the Pistons don't even come close to telling the whole story of Wood's true impact for them. Whether it's running the fast break by himself, going coast to coast, blocking multiple shots in a row, or throwing down some beautiful oops, Detroit was much more dangerous and fun to watch with him out there. Pistons coach Dwayne Casey needs to be giving him more than 21.4 minutes per game next year because Wood was among all the elite defenders at the four spot to rank 11th in defensive real plus minus at his position, but who knows if the Pistons will even be able to re-sign him in free agency. 7. Colin Sexton The Cavs point guard was overlooked in the debate for the most improved player of the year award. Colin averaged 21 points in 65 games on really solid efficiency in his sophomore campaign. His speed and springiness off the dribble allow him to pop up for momentum changing poster dunks, but Sexton really becomes a problem when he's mixing up his jumpers with those attacks. Defenders also have to check him at the three-point line, as for the second straight season to kick off his career, Colin made at least 30% of his attempts from behind the arc. He's also a really scrappy, Patrick Beverly-esque defender who can intelligently disrupt passing lanes, so he's certainly got a chance to develop into a top two-way player. 6. Chris Middleton Despite being named an all-star for the second straight season, his efficient deep-range shooting in the modern NBA make him deserved of much more attention than he gets. If Middleton was on a team like the Warriors or Heat, then his combination of a fluent three-point stroke and tight handles would allow him to heavily contribute to a run at a championship. In this year's second round, Chris averaged 25.6 points and nearly 7 assists per game in the Bucks' five-game series loss to the Heat, and he doesn't have a ton of popularity, but Chris has been one of the better sharpshooters in the league for over half a decade. 5. Spencer Dinwiddie Opting not to play in the bubble didn't help his chances at getting name recognition, but Dinwiddie's dynamic scoring ability still doesn't get the love it deserves. The 27-year-old had a weird take on his role for the soon-to-be Duran and Irving-led Nets, saying this past October 18th, quote-unquote, I viewed myself, if we were going to take the Golden State model, as kind of the Draymond Green. And that's really confusing when you think about it at first, because Spencer is a completely different player than Draymond. But then, when you take a step back, you think, Oh yeah, the value of Spencer's scoring in Brooklyn could have a similar impact as the value Draymond's defense had in the Bay. Uncle Drew, the Snake, the third option, Karis LeVert, those guys are going to need another man to relieve defensive pressure, and the bench scoring of Dinwiddie should be exactly that next year. 
for Tim Hardaway Jr. He was battling a neck strain in these playoffs, but was forced to become the Mavericks' second scorer with Luka's right-hand man Porzingis suffering a meniscus tear. With a scrappy Clipper defense game planning to stop him at a level he'd never been accustomed to, Hardaway Jr. still gave Dallas 18 points per game on very solid efficiency. Now imagine how well he's going to produce and how good Dallas will be once Tim's fully healthy and in his typical scoring role as the Mavericks third option next to the Slovenian sensation and the unicorn. But those last two are really all you hear about with Dallas. I don't hear a lot of people talking about Timmy's contributions, but they're damn crucial to the Mavs success. 3. Boyan Bogdanovic Boyan was Utah's second 20-point scorer last year next to D. Mitch, but was forced to undergo season-ending wrist surgery on his shooting hand. That's always tough to bounce back from. But you can just ask LeBron James how good of a player Bogdanovich really is, as back in 2018, Boyan, with then-co-star Victor Oladipo, got one win from upsetting the Cavaliers and barely lost in Game 7. Bogey played sensational defense on the King that entire series, but this past season, with his new squad in Salt Lake City, the 31-year-old was quietly averaging a career-high 20.2 points per game. Not taking anything away from Denver, but if Utah had Boyan services, given Mitchell's breakout into a superstar, the Jazz likely would have advanced. Quickly before the top two, Big Man gets the shout out for saying he's most impressed by LeBron James gaining the all-time playoff wins record. Thanks so much for every single answer. The Speaks board resets in 2021 and 2020's top five get free NBA giveaways. The question for next video's shout out is after this. Two, Kyle Lowry. As the third option in 2019's postseason, we saw just how dominant the Raptors' bulldog at point guard could be in Toronto's run to a championship. K. Lau scored the first 12 points of the Raptors' Game 6 title sealer in Oakland and scored a combined 46 points in the final two games of that series. But even this year, when most of Kyle's teammates wet the bed in the postseason, the five-time All-Star willed his team into a Game 7 against an extremely talented young Celtics team. As the first option, with the entire Celts defense keyed in on shutting him down, Lowry scored a combined 64 points in games 3 and 6. But the reason he's underrated is, despite being the league leader in charges drawn during the regular season, and undoubtedly the best point guard defender in basketball, while being an above average playmaking shot creator on the other end, Kyle didn't make any of the three All-NBA teams. He's been the backbone of the Raptors reaching the playoffs for seven straight seasons, but remains criminally underrated. 1. Jalen Brown A complete class act off the court, the Celtics organization is lucky to have their 23-year-old phenom. We'll get to how he's overlooked next to Jason Tatum and much more, but JB's trying to change the culture. He said on October 11th, quote-unquote, the cars, the lifestyle, the women, all that type of stuff is cool, but also taking care of your family, speaking on your community, helping your community, using your voice, I want that to be cool too. He and the NBA certainly had their voice heard this summer, but staying between the lines, Jalen's rapid rise into one of the best wing players in basketball I think has been lost in the Celtics narrative. Despite Brown being on a top team in the East while being a top two-way player, he wasn't named to an all-star team this year. His co-stars Kemba Walker and most notably JT, Jason Tatum, receive all the hype but Brown completely shut down Pascal Siakam in this year's second round, and then he went on to average over 23 points on 55% shooting from the field and a stunning 52.5% from three-point range in the conference finals. Boston may have come up two wins short of reaching the NBA finals, but if you're a fan of one of the other East contenders next year, then Jalen Brown's production on both ends should scare you. Let me know your favorite underrated player in the league down below, and let's be friends. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops. Keep watching some of my recent uploads. Much more on the way. The draft and free agency are right around the corner, so get hyped, y'all. But this was DFlow, and I'll see you next video.